Hey guys, this is Eric, and I've had a lot of questions in Final for Final Cut requests for tutorials about how to do the Pleasantville effect, where you make something color and the rest black and white, or how you change the color of a scene uh, without having to go to motion, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm here to show you how to do that, okay? Uh, this works the same with video. I've got two pictures here, and we're going to have two demonstrations here I'm going to show you. So let me go in here and clear out all of my filters. So these photos will be like they was when I first brought them in. Okay, now I have this picture of these poppy flowers. Uh, say I wanted to change the color of this flower f from red to something else. So, okay, what we're gonna the first thing we're gonna do is add a color corrector three-way. So go over to your color correction folder under the effects tab and open it up and find the color corrector three-way. Drag and drop it on your picture. This will throw up a color corrector three-way tab. Now, go to your color corrector three-way tab. At the bottom of your color corrector three-way tab, there'll be a limit effect. Now, you can't hardly see it if you're not looking for it. It's kind of disguised itself down here, but it is there. And when you open up this little disclosure triangle, it opens up a whole other effect, kind of like a chroma key. And there's a lot to this. This is a powerful tool. And um, we're going to go through and work all this, and I'm going to show you how it works. This is my eyedropper, and this is what I'm going to use to select the sample color that I want to change or affect. This here is my mat. It will show me my final output, my source output, meaning original, and it will show me my mat. And this here will invert my mat. So the first thing I'm going to do is select the color I want to change, and I want to select this eyedropper, and I'm going to go over here and click this red. Like that right there. Now when I do that, nothing happens. All these um, adjustments here take their places. You'll see they move and adjust themselves. The top slide bar here will adjust itself to the color that you've adjusted. So now in order to adjust, to adjust all this, you want to go over here and hit your little key button. If you hit it once, you'll go to your matte view. Now this is our matte view. This Everything that's white is what's going to be affected and everything that's black is not going to be affected. So now we need to go in here and adjust our limit effects until we can fill in this whole flower. So let me go in here and open up the color a little bit to see if that helps. And as you can see when I do that, it helps it turn a little more white than what it was. So now let's go f adjust my saturation, open it up a little bit. You see that helped a whole lot. Let's, let's check out our Luma and, and move it a little bit and see what we can do. Now that helped a tremendous amount. Now as you can see, you just go in here and work until you can get a solid, you want solid white. Whatever you want to change the color of, you want solid white. So just let me keep adjusting this. Now sometimes you won't need to adjust it this much or be this extreme about it, but I'm wanting to make sure you all see because we're doing this over YouTube and I'm not sure. So now we have this flower that's completely white. You see we have these other white spots outside of our picture and we're going to take care of that and I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. So now we have our flower completely white that we want to change. Okay, The, the red color is completely isolated so let's hit our key button and go back, hit it twice and go back to your not your source but your final view what it looks like your output view. So now that we've got that isolated, we can go in here to our mids, blacks, and whites, and we can shoot some blue into it. And as you can see, when I do this, it's changing color over here. Now we got kind of a purple and blue flower, okay? Pretty cool, huh? But say you didn't want to affect this flower back here and this little spot up here. How would we go about fixing that? Well, all you gotta do is add a garbage mat. So go over to your effects, Go down to your mat folder. You'll have an eight point and a four point. Um, all we need is four point. I just need to make a mat around this flower. So I'm going to take my four point garbage mat and drop it on my pitcher. Now we have a four point garbage mat on our pitcher. Now I'm going to take this picture that I have, or video that I have the garbage mat on, and move it up a track by selecting the clip, holding the option key, and pressing the up arrow. Okay, now I'm going to take another, the exact same picture, and lay it underneath it. Like that right there. So now we have the affected one on top and an original one on the bottom. So let's select our top one to load it into the viewer, go to our filters, 
and we'll see the adjustments for our four point garbage mat. So select your first point, corresponding point, go up here and move it and bring it down and as you can see we're going to mask off just this flower. So now I'm going to select point four. So brushed it in a little bit. Now I'm not going to be real accurate here but you all do get the point. I will go in and adjust it a little bit. Like so. Okay, now because of our garbage mat, we just have our flower in the middle isolated. And that's that, guys. So uh, now people have asked me, what if I want to just keep a color and make everything else black and white? Well, that's not a problem either. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make this flower here black and white and keep everything else. So I'm going to hold my shift key and go up here and hit my reset button and reset everything. That resets my color correction, but it leaves my limit effect intact. Now I'm just going to pull my saturation out. Now, as you can see, everything inside my flower is desaturated, and everything else is the same. Well, what if I wanted to keep the color of the flower and make everything else um, black and white? Well, what you want to do is go over here and hit your invert selection. Now, what that does is that brings the color of my flower back, but as you notice right here, all this is black and white. But because we have our mask on and just masking out this portion of the top clip, the bottom clip, which is all in color, is shining through. Everything that's in color here besides this flower, everything around is the clip on the bottom, and all this black and white here is the clip on top. So, I'm going to go back to my effects. I want to find my color corrector again. It don't have to be the three-way this time. It can be the regular um, color corrector. Drop it on your bottom clip. Load that clip into your viewer. And pull the saturation all the way out. Now, if you notice, everything in the picture is black and white. Except what you've isolated using your color effects. It's that simple guys like here is another example if I take a color corrector three-way and drop on this clip double click it and load it in the viewer you'll see here I have my limit effects I'm gonna open this up take my eyedropper let's let's select of course we can isolate the flower that will be no problem let's isolate our background we will click our key and go to our map view and you can see now we need to adjust our limit effect here Make, start making our adjustments and we want to isolate all the background and none of the flower and there we go a perfect mat so now we can hit our key once is the source again is the uh, affected one so now we have this and we can go in here and of course we can change the color of our background to any color we want to shift click the reset button put it back to normal drag out the saturation as you can see that that desaturates everything if I hit the invert selection boom it inverts it and it keys out my flower and now I can make my flower any color I want my if I bring the saturation back up that is you'd have to go in and mask out the stem but you can go in and you can make it any color you want now it's green so basically, that's how you use the limit effect, guys. That's exactly how you do it. So I hope you've got something from this video. I really hope it helps you out in your video editing and stuff. So if you have any questions, please get a hold of me. Be more than happy to answer them. And we'll see you next time.